this recent viral clip of Trevor Noah talking about the entire situation. His narrative is something that is so one-sided, so unbelievably one-sided that it helps me understand the reason as to why spaces like this exist. The majority in the brunt of his communications that have reached his Instagram is specific to him being a father. Won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party right now. And that's going to imprint in her mind that I wasn't there for her. They've been taking the fathers out of the homes purposely. So I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice. Hey, everybody. I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said, it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I'm not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're gonna use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether that thing went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50-50 custody. It always leans towards the mom. Guys, y'all looking at the thumbnail, y'all looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Today, we must get exceptionally active as well, all right? Kanye West is obviously going through what we like to refer to on this part of the internet as red pill rage. Men are often ostracized within society today in speaking about the issues with modern women and oftentimes many of these modern women come over here and they just say, oh, he's an incel, he's gay, he don't know what he's talking about, he's broke, he lacks game. But we understand the difficulty that modern women put men under today, especially if those men choose incorrectly and especially when they have the laws on their side. But what this situation with Kanye proves is that no matter the wealth, the status, the power, that you as a man can be subjected to it. And if they have no pity on Kanye, for the average man, they won't either. Exactly, and so this is for anybody that's going through a separation and people intentionally do things to be mean and hurt you. You know, what I'm saying? You know how are you gonna bring me to SNL and kiss the dude you dating right in front of me. And everybody's like, oh, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. After I went and went and got the laptop from Ray J myself, I gave it to her and she cried when she saw it. You know why she cried when she seen that laptop? Because it represents how much she's been used. Mm -hmm. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You that's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work, have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life, no toxic work environments and show up and do the work. And remind all of us again, which part of the Ray J sex tape exactly was hard work? Listen, Kim, while I agree with the assertion without context of all the things that you were saying, because I oftentimes on this channel, I tell young men to get up and do the work you leave out a whole bunch of things. Not everybody was born into the amount of fame and success and money as you were. Your dad was a Hollywood attorney. This shows the disconnection that she has from reality. She's purely delusional as to what she thinks she has amounted to in order to earn the respect. Posting to social media is not hard work. Giving your photos to an editor to change things up and having a company post things is not hard work. And I think it's a little bit short-sighted that you're comparing what it is that you do to someone working 60 to 80 hours per week trying to be the best person that they absolutely can and fighting through the ebbs and the flows of what that is within an environment where they're forced to work with people that they may or may not like. There is no congruence whatsoever of someone in corporate America or someone who's like, let's say a lawyer that had to study for the bar, right? And then works 70 to 90 hours per week at their craft versus someone who's an influencer or someone who posts to OnlyFans a few times per week. 
Those are very different things. One requires talent and skill, the other doesn't. But they were married, they got divorced. And over time, Kanye has become more and more belligerent in how he tries to get Kim back. Like when it started, it was, it was you know, some would say romantic. Oh, I want you back and, you know, here are roses and this is my dream. And, the, and some people are like, oh, okay, it makes sense. You're trying to win somebody back. We understand that. But over time, it's become more and more belligerent. And one of the most extreme examples was Kanye West putting out a music video. Where in the music video, he, like it's a claymation music video, I should say. He chops off Pete Davidson's head. And I mean, we, we all understand the subject. Like, I, I wish this guy was dead, is, is, is what Kanye is saying. Now, what I see from this situation, I see a woman who wants to live her life without being harassed by an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband or an ex-anything. You may not feel sorry for Kim, you know, because she's rich and famous, because of the way she dresses, because she appropriates black culture, because she tells women they're lazy, because she broke the internet and then didn't put it back together, whatever, you hate her, whatever. But, but, what she's going through is terrifying to watch and it shines a spotlight on what so many women go through when they choose to leave. You know, people always say that phrase to women, they go like, why didn't you leave? Oh, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? Yeah, because a lot of women, women realize when they do leave, you know what I mean? Please leave me alone. And so like this story keeps on escalating. You've got Kanye West, who's harassing Kim Kardashian. And then you've got Pete Davidson, who's now embroiled in the whole thing. And the story escalated to a new level when now Pete Davidson leaked texts that he sent back and forth with Kanye. He sent a selfie to, to, to um, Kanye West and Kanye said, where are you? And he said, I'm in your wife's bed. Let me just sum up this situation right here to make it relevant is that you have uh, women calling Kim Kardashian a high value woman or something to aspire to. Well, how is she a high value woman when she chooses to date someone with a history of heavy drug abuse? How is she a high value woman when she consistently chooses men with issues and or problems? And it's almost as if they choose men that have some type of issue so that they can dominate them or mother them, thus further destroying these young men. I mean, how many men have come into their fold in a situation and it's just spit out at the end of the day as a mangled former version of themselves. But I will say that Kanye's mental health issues do not make this situation any more easy. Um, I think that the mental health issues and combination of the red pill rage is making it very difficult for him to understand and be effective as a co-parent and effective as a father. But this is why it's important who you choose in your life. Just think about the lack of happiness that he now has because he has to deal with the situation and not just deal with it, but deal with it on a public stage, on a public platform. Please, the boyfriend texts me antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought I thought publicly for a year and a half has been, I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name and now, he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife? And, and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. Because every time I finish this show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do something positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce. I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. My G's listen to me. As I said in my previous video, Kanye has no one else to blame but Kanye. But use this as a lesson for yourself to think strategically about the young ladies that you allow into your life. It's incumbent on you because as was demonstrated right here, no one will come to your aid and nobody will feel sorry for you. There's no amount of money, power, status that will save you from an incorrect decision that has landed you within the treacherous claws of a woman because you as a man will be viewed as the enemy in these situations. And it's unfortunate that these narratives still exist but do understand, prioritize your purpose, prioritize your mental health, 
prioritize your understanding of your finances, your financial foundation. And then once you figure all that out and develop your masculinity, then you'll have the mental fortitude and be in the correct mental space to make a correct decision and in incorporating a lady into your life. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre to Tourism Reviews at Gmail. Dot com. What did you guys think? Did you agree? Do you disagree? Leave your comments down below. Put a timestamp in there so I know exactly which portion of the video that you were speaking about. Last but not least, my Patreon is going up. The Discord server is going up. If you want to involve yourself with like-minded, awesome, and dope people, click the link down below. Beam up. We're almost a thousand strong up there. And I'll see you soon. Until next time. YouTube. Peace.